Hi, boys and girls. Today, we're going to take a look at how to make a picture of division using number bonds. So let's say we get a problem like this. What is 328 divided by 8? At first, that looks like a really tough problem. I don't know my multiples of 8 all the way up to 328. But you know what? Since I know my multiples of 8, when I look at this problem, a couple of things jump out at me. So here are the multiples of 8, right? And that's all the way up to 8 times 10. I'm looking for multiples of 8 in that number. Here's one of the first things I notice. This number has 32 tens in it. And 32 is a multiple of 8. 8 times 4 is 32. So 8 times 4 tens would make 32 tens. The other thing that jumps out at me is there's an 8 in the ones place. That's obviously a multiple of 8 as well. So here's what I know I can do. I could take this number and I can use number bonds to break it up. 328 is the same as 320 plus 8. And I now know that both 320 and 8 are multiples of 8. How many 8s fit in 320? 40 of them. Again, 8 times 4 is 32, so 8 times 40 is 320. And of course, there's one 8 that fits in the 8. So when I add those together, I realize that 328 divided by 8 equals 41. 8 times 41 equals 328. Let's take a look at a less obvious example. Here's 512 divided by 8. Now again, I'm using my multiples of 8, but here I don't see any multiples of 8 jumping right out at me from that 512. But let's see what I can do here. Um, let's see, 512. That's a little more than 500. Can I do 8 times something to get me close to around 500? Oh, well, wait a minute. 48 is a multiple of 8, right? Because 8 times 6 equals 48. So if 8 times 6 is 48, then 8 times 60 must be 480. 480 uh, takes a big chunk out of 512. So let me start there. Uh, if 8 times 60 is 480, what's left? 512 is 480 plus 32. Oh, hey, wait a minute. 32 is a multiple of 8 as well. 8 times 4 is 32. So I just took that 512 and I broke it up into two numbers that I know are multiples of 8. 8 times 60 is 480. 8 times 4 is 32. So that means 8 times 64 is 512. So 512 divided by 8 is 64. That's how you can use number bonds to help you solve division problems.